Well, good morning, everybody. It's the boss lady here. It's the morning after. Let me get this car on because Charles Cole. Um, whew, it's cold. It's 47 degrees. I got a long sleeve shirt and and my hoodie. <clears throat> Need to have my hoodie zipped up. But um, wanted to kind of give you 59 cent on how things kind of transpired went. I gotta talk quick because boss man's coming. But anyway, um, overall, Miss Pina had a great time at the dance. Well, getting ready for the dance, showing up, doing her walkthrough, and then leaving. Um, she was definitely uh, Hollywood, <laughs> Hollywood ready. I put it that way. So the theme was Hollywood, Hollywood uh, red carpet, Hollywood something. I can't remember. But anyway, um, she she stole the show, and I'm not being biased, um, not at all. She stole the show. There was girls, now mind you, I just told you, it's 47 degrees, so it's cold here. There was girls, sleeveless, back out, stomach out, dresses like two inches below the thing. I mean, it was, and then it had on heels that they could not walk in. Girls had to pee. I mean, it was, it was hilarious. I mean, I, I wish I could have been a fly on the wall just to do, like, commentary. But, you know, there was girls there who didn't even know how to tie their shoes. Like, they had the shoes with the straps that go all the way up the leg. So, the principal was actually being mama, you know, and helping girls fix their dresses, fix their shoes, fix their this, fix it. So, her principal was like, oh my God, like, she's beautiful. And I was just like, thank you. You know, I was trying not to beam or whatever. But she was like, no, for real. Like, she doesn't know that she's a junior in high school. She's like, she's a junior in college. Like, where did this baby come from? I'm like, honey, don't let the smooth taste fool you. You know, we, we know how to, we know how to, you know, step out. So anyway, like, okay, so if you remember the dress I wore for my anniversary, that's kind of dresses that the girls were wearing. But these are like, you know, 9, 10, 11th grade, 12th grade girls. And yeah, of course they had, they really had like the pencil thin bodies for those dresses, but whatever. But we had some extra lovely girls, too, and they was representing. I said, y'all go ahead now. Proud of y'all. But anyway, how did Miss Peanut feel? She was, um, she was nervous. She was nervous. She, you know, um, she didn't want to stay too long, and I didn't want to pressure her. You know, it was two hours. We got there 7.15. Red carpet started at 7.30. We were out of there by 7.45. I kid you not. 30 minutes. Um... She loved it. She didn't want to take her jacket off. She didn't have her headphones. And, you know, being around the students and in their type of element, the music, went, she, I begged her not to wear her headphones. She did. She complied. She didn't wear her headphones. But, um, so her, her whoopee, as I would call it, was her jacket. Um, the jacket that you saw, the leather with the fur, um, real, that, I think that's real rabbit. I can't remember. Anyway. Um, is my mother-in-law's and you know my mother-in-law's past so when she has things like this or something special I'd like her to be able to wear it because you know that was some that would be something that her grandmother would want and her father her father my father-in-law would love so anyway I can't wait to get the pictures printed so he can have those for himself uh, because that would just you know his granddaughter wearing his wife's coat that he bought years and years and years ago uh she looked beautiful. I did her makeup. I did her hair. Um, we were going to do something different with the hair, so we didn't use the clips that we got from Ross. We actually used the clips. We used just one clip that I had in my um, paparazzi stuff. She loved it. She was like, oh, that's cute. And, it's, and she, she always loved that clip, even when I had first got it. And I never used it. It was still in the package. So, um... She loved it. She was like, yeah, this this is it, you know. Um, what else? I'm trying to think. The jewelry, the earrings she picked herself. They're, they're clip-ons because Miss Pina's ears are not pierced. Um, so they were clip-ons. She picked them herself. So then I went into my stash once again, my paparazzi stash, and I found her a heart necklace to match the heart earrings. Um, and then I had a bracelet a bangle that she wore and it had a scripture on it. I can't remember the scripture to save my soul. I had to, you know, put that across the screen. Um, 
Mm, what else? The whole family was asleep. So I'm taking pictures. People are asking me for pictures. I'm like, hold on, we're not ready, da da da, whatever. And she didn't want me to record. She didn't want me to, you know, so I could get like still shots. So like after I finished her makeup and her hair, I'm like, can I get a picture, just a headshot? But then the headshots I didn't post because she was in her her undergarment. So you know. <sighs> but anyway, people were asking for pictures, like my my sister or my my daughter and someone else, and I was like, we're not ready. Then when I finally send the pictures, nobody responds. I said, well, so then I started calling people like, hello, where, where are you, you know? Um, her dad was not home. Uh, I think he left the house because it's too much for him. It definitely, I, when I tell you I teared up several times and she was like, mom, she had to come over, mom, it's okay, mom, mom. This was a big deal for me because Carlita is autistic and she has been adamant. She doesn't like the kids. She doesn't like the school. You know, she likes the teachers. That's it. You know, she likes the staff and not the students. She doesn't want to do anything. But this year, junior year, and I don't know if it's because I'm there and her principal feels it is because I'm there, but she is coming out of her shell, doing things that she necessarily wouldn't do. Now, she's not going to play sports again. She already said that. But as far as like, you know, going out for homecoming, doing the contest and for the button and then going to homecoming dance, that's huge. So our prayer, her sister and I, is that she goes to prom, goes to junior prom this year. We shall see. I don't know, guys. Her sister is like, let me know if she's, you know, in fact, going to go because I'm going to come up so I could be there. And I'm just like, okay. So, I don't know. Um, I'm getting emotional thinking about it. Because, you know, we're doing these college tours, you know. And I cannot believe the baby that I prayed for is almost a high school graduate. Going to be going to college. Just went to her first homecoming dance. I'm just like, oh, wow. You know, like other kids... As soon as they go to high school, they're going to homecoming, they're, you know, whatever. Um, now, our school doesn't allow kids to go to prom until junior, senior year. But, like, they can go to homecoming, no problem. But, yeah. I just, I'm just over the moon. And she she let me, she's like my own little personal Barbie. I told my mom, I said, I feel like I was playing baby dolls for a minute. Cause I, you know, and here's the thing. This is something that you guys don't know about me. Every time we have had any type of event, whether it be Christmas, whether it be Easter, I've always gone above and beyond. And I did it with Baby Girl too, um, to the best of my abilities with the monies that I had at that time. Uh, but I always, you know, made sure they had the pretty dresses and the pretty socks and the shoes and, you know, the hair and da-da-da, right? And I always, you know, lay everything out pretty. So, like, when you saw the clip in the video where I was like panning over her her makeup and and that wasn't all the makeup she um used because we had some other pieces but that was what was bought for her so I just kind of you know I had everything laid on the bed and so I kind of panned over everything that's what I do I lay the dresses out I lay out the socks I lay out the shoes even though the tennis shoes I didn't care they were brand new so and so it was so funny because she was she was lacing the shoes and she goes mom I checked the bottom the shoes are clean and I was like Okay, and she said no because I got them on your bed. Boss man's coming. I will finish the rest of this video in a little bit. But anyway, so other than that, I'm at the store, but uh, boss man's still inside. Uh, Miss Pennant had a great time. You know, she loved having her her tennis shoes on. Um, I'm trying to think what else. All the grandparents got to see the pictures last night. Grandparents, aunties, some uh, cousins great cousins or first cousins and and some of the great cousins so sister her sister um there's still more family who needs who needs to see the pictures but you know but i'll be back to finish out my thought hey y'all so i'm back oh that's on on my face um so anyway oh my thoughts and process of everything i'm just thankful and grateful that um miss pena did you know, step out on faith and 
you know, did what she had to do. I'm so proud of her. Her dad was proud too. So, like I said, he wasn't there at the house uh, when we uh, got ready or when she got ready because I just had on my regular, I had on my plaid and whatever. So, anyway, so he wasn't there, but of course, you know, daddy get all the pictures, right? And so he was a proud daddy because he told me this morning, he said, yeah, I went by my dad's house and showed him the pictures. So, yeah, uh -huh. I'm like, mm-hmm, he be trying to be quiet. <laughs> daddy try to be quiet. He try to stay back in the cut. <laughs> but, yeah, he a proud papa, too. Uh, it's funny because my dad said when he saw, because my dad saw Miss Pena's dress um the other day when my sister was in town because i took the dress over there because i wanted my sister to see i wanted my mom to see you know beforehand and so um my dad saw the dress and he asked me he said is your husband getting his guns ready <laughs> i said no yeah, I mean, I said, well, I said, he, he's already armed and ready. But, you know, I said, he could, you know. I said, plus, I'm chaperoning a little bit. So, dad was like, oh, okay. Because everybody thought I was going to drop her off, which I initially was. I was going to drop her off and let her go by herself. But then when she said she only wanted to be there 30 minutes, I said, oh, I ain't wasting no gas now. So, um so yeah so i just stayed i mean you know i'm an employee so i could be there so whatever and i stayed in the cut i wasn't like hounding her or walking hand in hand with her you know she did try to stay next to me at first and then um i kind of gave her the nudge gave her the push like go ahead spread your wings butterfly so she did and you know she was kind of looking around looking around and then she just got i don't know it's like this whole confidence came over her one of her teachers came up and she said I saw her, but can I see the dress? And I said, well, you got to ask her. So she walked over to her. And she said, can I see your dress? I want to see, you know. And so she kind of, uh, Miss Pena did one of these numbers. She kind of did, you know, that put a shoulder out so she could see that it was sleeveless. And then she said, well, give me a little 360. So she gave her a 360 spin. I said, that's right. You got it right. Because, you know, I've been, I have been, um, especially like all year, all summer, I've been trying to just show her, you know, it's okay to, to, you know, come into your own and, and show her the confidence. And, you know, when you got on something, you know, you looking good, girl, stretch your stuff. So she did, y'all. She did. When, I'm so mad though. So in the video that you saw and you saw when she walked the red carpet, that was her second walk. So the picture that you saw when she was standing at the red carpet and the girls were behind her, um, I, oh my gosh, trying to get that, I was trying to snap a picture, but then I wanted to get video for the, for the footage, and by the time it switched from photo to video, she was already, like, to me, that's why you saw, I think I put that clip in there, where you saw, like, she was standing next to me and the video kind of went down like this, that's why, because I was like, dang, I missed it. <laughs> I was so mad, but, um, but others got video of her walking, but whatever. So that's why you saw her walk the red carpet and she was alone. So that was her second walk. That was not her first walk. Um, but yeah, it was cool. They were checking bags and checking kids. I'm like, I know that's right because these kids is off the chain. You want this vaping and everything else they be trying to do. But they fed the kids. They had pizza and uh, pizza and soda and water. Um, I'm not sure if they had cake. Because I didn't go where the refreshments were. But I think they had cake or cupcakes or something too. But she didn't get that. She was mad because the pizza was from Domino's. And I was like, well, whatever. <laughs> you know, I mean, be thankful for what you got. But then I end up buying Little Caesars anyway. So it's good. It's good. It's good. But, um, but yeah, she, she had a good time. And it was funny because... Like I said, the staff who know her was like in shock, right? The staff that didn't know her but saw her come in with me, they was like, wait a minute, you know? And everybody in the family was like, she looks just like your sister. And I'm like, well, I mean, they are related. She looks like my big sister. So it's funny because my kids, my, my eldest looks like my younger sister and my baby looks like my big sister. I don't know. It's that bloodline child. She, and Miss Pina also favors my grandmother, my nanny. 
she also favors nanny too so but yeah and then if you you know let my husband's family tell it she favors my mother-in-law so i mean she she all intermix and all intertwine but you know it's good um but yeah how do i feel <sighs> Now that, you know, because I keep trying to finish recording this and say my piece, he's going to be in the store for a minute so I can talk. But um, how I feel now, I'm just grateful, you know, because everybody's like, she don't do nothing. She don't this. She don't that. And you always got her underneath you. I don't always have Miss Peanut underneath me. Miss Peanut wants to be underneath me. She, she has always been my cuddle baby, you know, like... Even when I was pregnant with her, she used to sit in a certain spot of my stomach. Like her her body would always ball up. Excuse me. She would go to a certain spot of my side. And when she was born, and as she, you know, she would always cuddle with me. And she would always, for whatever reason, it's like, I, well, you know, I'm extra lovely. So I got these little rolls on the side. And Miss Pino, if she could fold her body tiny and little and get into the fold of my body she would and so my husband's always like oh but she just want her mama love and blah 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 and i'm like okay i get it but you know so anyway i mean that's that's just miss peanut um but i'm glad that she is you know stepping out on her own um you know that's one reason too that i'm doing the tours this year because i want her to see the colleges i want her to meet people people who may be like her people who may not be like her and like i told her i said everybody's not going to be like you everybody's not going to be your cup of tea but you will find your your person or your your people you know as you get older and go to college and stuff like that so um you know i'm just doing the best i can with what i have and i'm just super proud of her stepping out like when she said she wanted to run for homecoming i was like okay when she said she, you know, she wanted to uh, enter the contest for the button, I said, okay. And then when she told me she wanted to go to the dance, I was like, okay. And then I said, well, what kind of dress? Y'all, when I tell you, so I ordered the dress. The dress came in two days. I was nervous that the dress was not going to fit because Miss Pina is extra lovely up top. So I was like, oh, Lord. But praise God for a mother who also is extra lovely up top. So I knew what kind of garments that she needed to have and all that stuff. She chose her colors and she was so excited because she was very unique. She was one who did not share the same dress or colors with anybody else. So I'm proud. But thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you on a new video. Bye, guys.